Hi guys, okay, so let's continue from part 4, okay, uh, as you can see uh, here, okay, let me do a bit of modification so that you can see the whole code uh, clearer, okay, so I have uh, make this into two different lines, okay, and uh, we have uh, index of 3, 3, okay, and 3, and this is what we call structure within a structure, or we call it nested structure, okay, so as you can see here, I have a structure called quizzes, and I declare a structure variable from quizzes inside another structure called student by the name of quiz. Okay, so type that struct quizzes alias QQ and I use QQ to declare a structure variable called quiz within a structure called student. So I have a structure variable from quizzes inside the structure of student. Hence, we call it structure within a structure, nested structure. Okay. And in terms of access, you can see it is also uh, different because it, it has a two-dimension access as con two-dimensional access as compared to the others. Right? For example, you see name. Okay, you have student uh, stud index i dot name. For midterm, you have stud index i dot midterm and stud index i dot h, which is a single access, one access, right? Okay. But if you see quiz, okay, you have two-dimensional access where you have stud index i dot quiz then dot q1 okay two access so start index i dot quiz which is this guy dot q1 right and then start index i dot quiz dot q2 and start index i dot quiz dot q3 and that is how it works okay all right, so hopefully everything is okay. Now I'm going to run this program. Um, you can see the two-dimensional access here, okay, especially on the quizzes, right? And let's run this program and see if uh, it works. So, your name, ha ha, all right? Ha ha, okay? Quiz 12, 11, right? And 10. And I have your midterm marks as 46, maybe your age 21. Uh, student 2, hee hee, right? Oops, sorry. Um, quiz 1, 11. Uh, quiz 2, uh, 20. And quiz 3, um, maybe 15. And then midterm, maybe uh, 45. And your age would be uh, 19. Okay. And the third one, okay. Ho ho. Okay. And your quiz one would be uh, 12, then 30, then uh, 40, then midterm will be 60, right? And your age will be 20. So all three, right? So enter and you can see all the information are being uh, displayed as according to the final loop. Okay. So this is the last part uh, for structure. Okay. This is the last part for structure. And... Uh, uh, it is not within your slides, but I'll be giving you new um, materials later on to basically refer to on how how to actually uh, carry out uh, nested structures. And uh, this is very useful, very important, especially after this we will be discussing about class and objects and uh, the understanding of uh, structures yeah? Okay, is essential uh, as a fundamental value for you to carry on in understanding um, classes and objects which will be uh, learned later on okay so uh, I think that is it for the uh, whole series of uh, structures which are pretty simple with C++ I hope you understand if you have any questions um, feel free to ask me through the whatsapp group or email me and uh, in my next video maybe I have a video to explain uh, all the other questions uh, that you have asked uh, using the code here all right, so that's it for structure. Okay, remember this is structure within the structure. I think this uh, five video series will help you to understand uh, clearly how it is being done. So other than that, um, stay home, right? Be safe, be safe, stay home, okay? And hopefully we can meet soon back in class. All right, thank you guys. You guys have a nice day.